The extent of the damage becomes more clear in Puerto Rico. Western New Yorkers with ties to the island are desperately trying to reach friends and family there. Two on your side's Claudine Ewing spoke with some of them today. My mom. Oh, like, is she right? Maritza Feliciano's parents live in the small town of Comorillo in Puerto Rico. She last spoke with her mother the day the hurricane hit. In fact, they FaceTimed each other. I asked if she was all right. She told me that she was scared, but she was ready. And then her sister spoke with her mom. And my mom started screaming and crying, and my stepfather said, get in the closet. And that was the last time we heard. She's trying to stay positive, but she can't sleep. She grew up between Buffalo and Puerto Rico and lived through Hurricane George. This is worse than George. She's glued to her phone and keeps going back to the last messages from her mom. Mommy, I love you. Didn't get no response back. And there's Zoraida Reyes. Her parents are also in Puerto Rico. Very stressed. It's, it's heartbreaking to know. Are you okay? It's all you really want is that phone call. Of just we're okay. She works with her aunt at Monty's Grocery in Buffalo. She's waiting to hear from family, and this saga continues. It gets to you. you try to go to sleep and still think about it. That's hard. It's hard. But we're continuing on. Hopefully every day, just keep calling. Hopefully we'll get that phone call telling us they're okay. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.